Good morning, folks. The sun diving comet never reappeared. He indeed was destroyed as he passed by the sun, and that CME heading to the left will miss Earth. As we come over to SolarSystemScope.com, we can envision that it is likely just about impacting Mercury this morning. SDO satellite is still not updating the AIA images, the pretty colorful ones, but the HMI is up and so is GOES and PROBA2, so let's go ahead and take a look at the last day on our star. A bit more surface activity than might be expected at the right bright grouping, now turning towards the limb. We're going to see that a couple of times here again. Notice the brightness flashing and the surface activity around the grouping. That's the baby sunspot version of a flare in CME. Kind of cute. We'll see a bit of that on GOES SXI as well. It didn't produce anything major. And indeed, the solar flaring is just about an inch up off the floor. The events are puny and not at all powerful, but they do herald the return of sunspots to the disk. Neither is magnetically complex at the moment, lead grouping heading right, but the trailing portion may have a positive-negative-positive positive setup, so it might be worth watching today. Solar wind remains above average intensity, but has steadied at that level, and the lack of change allows a measure of calm to return to our magnetosphere, and the storm conditions begin to wane away. We have seismic activity beneath the volcano in Iceland to complement the uptick we mentioned yesterday. But indeed, volcanoes are now giving way to quakes here with six-pointers striking both Argentina and Japan. That second one is an earth spot rumble to be revisited in a moment. Top article today stays with Mercury, new messenger analysis revealing the tides, rotation, and a new gravity map for the innermost planet of our system. Hawaii. This is about halfway down the animation you saw earlier this week. Both systems still slated to head your way. Belize recovering and Mexico on alert as even a weakened system here is still dropping all the rain it can as it heads for the mountains. West Pacific system only relevant as the earth spot sitting next to that Japan quake we just saw. Sticking with weather, India not receiving a reprieve from the flash flood events for observers who might be new here. The high geomagnetic activity and El Nino conditions of the second half of 2015, as expected, are carrying over into a tremendously intensified and slightly shifted monsoon season for the region. And while that's expected, the historical records show their worst droughts and famine are expected during solar minima, like the one expected to come next decade. Folks, a tiny update is coming to earthchanges.org today. If you haven't been there, it breaks down the magnetic reversal of Earth, solar changes, the effects on technology, and the weather. Head over and get acquainted, and as always, check out suspiciousobservers.org. There's been a flood of geoengineering questions this week, and it just so happens we discussed that on our latest podcast for members called Fly on the Wall. Pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun, and I can't wait to get the full SDO images back. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.